Hi, I'm going to use this presentation to describe how you would use the conferencing area of Canvas to record your presentation. So here we are on the home page showing the module list. Notice down the left hand side one of the options says conferences. I'll click on that. It takes me to this area. One of the options here is to create a conference. It's plus. I'll click on that and I want to put in the title of my presentation seven solutions for overcoming I'm going to use this and make it to be 15 minutes I'm going to enable it for recording I'm going to unclick invite all members that's very important if you don't do that you will have invitation email sent out to a lot of people who would be then an audience watching you as you make your presentation which you may want but not a requirement for the course so that's up to you hit update and notice there it's now I have under new conferences seven solutions for overcoming mediocrity as leader I'm going to hit start notice I'm using Chrome as a browser you may have equal luck using other browsers, but if you don't, you can always switch to using Chrome. I'm going to click my microphone, and I have to click Allow so that it is able to use my microphone. It's now going to test my microphone. Can, can I hear I myself? myself? And, and usually you can hear yourself. yourself. My microphone is being used by use this by recording. recording, so I hit Yes. You are currently the only person in this conference. And I'm going to hit yes here as well. All right. Now, yeah, you know, I, I recommend that you first do a, a quick test before you do anything else. So you might want to do like a three second test to do that. But once you've tested it, uh, you can do this. Now I'm going to upload my presentation. And it says select file. I want to select seven, uh, that file. Then I want to hit upload. There we go. It's uploading the file. Depending on the length of your presentation, it may take more or less time. And there is the presentation. Now, two things that have to be done. First, I have to activate my webcam by clicking the button at the top and hitting allow. And hit allow again and it's trying to open the webcam. My webcam won't be open because I am actually using my webcam and the speaker from that to record this presentation, but in yours it will show up in this area and you will simply hit OK and start sharing is the button you would click there. And I'm going to hit click and then down in this bottom area here your webcam will be showing. This is a requirement for this presentation so your, vi your video, your webcam has to be live and it has to be showing in this for you not to be penalized. Notice my presentation is here and now all I have to do is click the start recording button to start making my presentation. Remember, I'm not asking for you to read your slides. I can read your slides. I need you to make a presentation using your slides to reinforce what you're saying, but you will not be just reading your slides. So I hit start and I'll say yes I want to start and I will be able to talk my way through that going to the next slide and notice that if I want to I can use any of the tools here to emphasize anything that I want to as I go along or perhaps I want to use something like that just to say hey here's that. So I will talk my way through my slides and once I get to the end of my slides, I'm all done. I will stop recording. You want to stop the recording session? Yes. And I am completed. So this is all done. I've made my presentation. And now all I want to do, all I have to do at this point in time is simply uh, exit.
This will take me, sure you want to log out? And if my answer is yes, I want to log out. I've been logged out of the conference. Notice it opened there and, and uh, I'm back to the same place. So if I go back to conferences, my conference is there. And what it's doing is it's processing the video. Now it will take it um, for a 10 to 15 minute video. It could take it several hours to process, so don't worry. Once the video has processed, as you can see down here under my test recording, it'll show up and if I click that, it will activate uh, the test recording and I'll be able to watch the video that was made. Uh, so I can view your videos and be able to grade them appropriately. So looking forward to seeing what you've put together. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call under help resources. Call the Canvas Support Helpline and tell them, hey, you're trying to record a video and you're having trouble. They should be able to help you. But if you watch this video, I think you should have, shouldn't have any trouble in getting this to work out for you. All right. Thank you.